help with my ergonomics. Working as an artist, we tend to do repetitive tasks over and over again. The hunching over, which causes stress in the back of your neck and your shoulders. So this tabletop easel, I actually saw a video from another artist, which I'll put in the description box below of her review of it, but it was true to form. Um, I, I definitely purchased it because of her review. She was really thorough about it. So this tabletop easel pretty much comes like this in the box. These little actual pegs were not attached and I actually had to um, assemble it. Um, there are on the back hand side, you want to see how this looks. This is the back view. Sorry, my lighting's not the greatest. I'm to turn it this way. You can see it a little bit better. But it's like a ball and joint. Kind of reminds me of your shoulder. It's going to rotate and you can lock it in place. Like it has this little lever that you can tighten and loosen it. Um, it has on the very bottom of it, I'll do this real quickly, uh, four little, um, little pads to help kind of um, prevent it from sliding around. Um, but um, there's these holes that have been drilled in and then there are these washer right here and you can just tighten it and loosen it as you need it. If you don't need it, you could just tape your drawing to it. Um, another thing I liked about this is you can change the orientation. It can go up higher. It can rotate vertically this way. And there are holes drilled in here at the bottom that you can add the little pegs as well. So I tend to use it more like this. Um, another little thing that was kind of a side benefit because um, not only do I do traditional art, and this is a pen and ink that I ended up doing on this easel, is it double serves as my stand for my Cintiq now. So this was great. I mean, um, it's pretty lightweight. Um, I think she said it felt heavy, but I, I personally think um, it, it's pretty lightweight to me. It's not like, um, it's not real wood. It's like a pressed uh, wood. Um, so pretty light, holds my um, 16 inch Wacom Cintiq really nicely. And so I will actually use it either or because um, you can buy stands, but I was like, it's one more thing that I have to put in my very small studio. So if I can make things work double duty, that's great. So it's, it was, I believe, 60 some dollars, but I'll put it the exact price in the description box um, and a link for it on uh, Dick Blick's website. But anyways, um, it really helps to keep me aware of not to hunch over um, because that does cause um, tension in your vertebrae. Also, it causes, you know, the muscles in your back uh, to get sore. So this was really helpful. And I use it now all the time for drawing, whether it's digitally or traditionally, um, works great. Oh, and by the way, these little um, pegs here, I actually got a third one. I think the artist, uh, other person who um, I watched their review said they only got two. I Maybe because of her review, they made sure to put three. So um, there is a third one that if I wanted to, I could put it right here. But I found that I don't really use it. I don't need it because... I tend to work eight and a half by 11 letter size when it comes to traditional, so that little peg would block it. But otherwise, uh, great product. Um, so glad I got it and um, works for not only traditional, but digital. Thanks for watching.